Hi, this is Jonathan. How you guys doing? Uh, I just got back on uh, last uh, Sunday, so I'm flying off tomorrow again. So, but before I do, let me present to you the shoe guitar, John Cole signature model. This is the Guinevere. <laughs>
If you're new to his channel, subscribe to his channel, press the bell for notification of future videos that follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel. Um, I want to thank um, Ray uh, from She Guitar for lovingly creating my second She signature guitar. This is the Guineville, or Guineville as I lovingly call it. So just a little backstory. I wanted to uh, have him make me a guitar that I would not be afraid of taking it out on the road. Uh, something that's road worthy, something that that will be uh, something that I want to play uh, and, and not and not be uh, you know um, using it for certain occasions. I just want it to be a, a concert worthy uh, guitar, and, and and I think. He, he, he nailed it because this is basically the, the pickup configurations are the same as the Leah, which is my first uh, signature guitar, which you, some of you guys call the bacon guitar. I love bacon, yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Everything is, is a little bit different except for the pickup configuration. So let me run through the appointments with you. Basically, you have a Mammy Wool body, right, with a flame uh, veneer, a flame maple veneer. Right, this uh, this uh, finish I would like to call it as a red glow, right? Um, and you have a very nice, a nice piece of roasted maple uh, neck, right? Um, yeah, I, I just like the the maple neck. It has a soft V shape, uh, very comfortable, same as the Leah. Uh, you have a Malaysian blackwood. Uh, fretboard, really attractive fretboard. So all the details of the specifications are all stated in the description. So if you want all the details, little details, here on down. So apart from the uh, the black tusk nut, I have uh, Goto Magnum locking tuners. All right, these are all in black, really nice. No string tree, of course, you can see, and um, stainless steel frets. All right, so this is a 22 frets, not a 24. The Leah is a 24. This is a 22 frets. Uh, guitar. So you have dot markers. These are Mother of Poe uh, dot markers on the fretboard itself. It's on the side, right? Now the fret radius is a compound fret radius of t of 12 to 16 inch, right? 12 to 16 inch. You got a really nice, um, what do you call it? The jumbo uh, jumbo frets, <laughs> stainless steel jumbo frets. Uh, yeah, that's that's for the neck, right? And the neck has a finish to it. You know, it's a polyurethane uh, finish, really th not thick. You know, just it's comfortable. You know, it's not a satin kind of feel. Uh, there's a finish to it, but it's a very thin finish. You know, and then you have the windmill truss rod adjustment over here, which they provide the tool for. Really nice, nice touch. And then of course the body itself. So again, this is a Mammy Wu body. Uh, in the back, you have a four screw neck joint. No plate cover for easy access for you know string changing and spring adjustment and whatnot. Now originally it came in with two springs. Now this guitar is, has been on the road with me you know for a week, and I did some modification to it. I added an additional string, uh, additional spring. This is a, a soft tension uh, spring, apart from the other two original, which is a uh, hard tension or a high tension spring so I, I just just me I just wanted a little bit more tension on my on my spring area and then uh, you have this back cover which can be just yeah same as the Leah so all the electronics are all here really nice and now this time there's a a, a really stark difference the battery compartment used to be here in the Leah now it's right over here right so conveniently hidden by this lovely plate, club, uh, plate cover. Um, I have my strap lock fixed on so it doesn't come with a strap lock uh, system so these are all my own uh, modification and then uh, I have a five-way pickup selector switch right? Um, one volume, one tone which function as a push-push for the split call of the last humbucker here. Then I have a, another knob here which also function as a uh, mid boost, how much you want to increase in the increment of your mid boost is all adjusted here. Now, the, the tone knob right here, other than the push push for the split coil, you also function as a normal tone knob for all three pickups. Right? You got that? For the first pickup, you have the JK1, which is uh, my configuration of a, a sort of a um, more fatter 
P90 in a way. Okay, so it's like a hum it's a humbucker, but uh, it has the characteristic of a P90. So the JK1, and then you have the SK1, which is a really nice uh, single claw, really clear, pristine. And then my uh, which wait, what do they name this? This is a JK2, right? Well, predominantly this is a a, a humbucker which uh, which was developed in house. But it was really high gain, and I wanted to cut down the gain a little bit and do some uh, little changes to the tonality of it. So yeah, they name it as Jonathan Cole too. So JK1, SK1, JK2. You have a Goto 510 bridge in black, right? You can see the the difference of the uh, the saddles. That's because I I decided to change the saddles to um to the exotic uh, raw vintage, yeah. I have my reasons, so uh, it, it comes with the black uh, block saddles, which is really good. You know, they 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 have the sustain, they have the tone and everything. My style of playing, you know, uh, when I do a lot of wanging on my tremolo arm, the way I go crazy, uh, sometimes I might face problem with uh, string breakage, especially on the high E string, when I'm doing a lot of wanging, a lot of pulling, and all that uh, extended period of time. Like the general amount, uh, general length of a concert for a Chinese concert is about two hours to three. So when I was playing this guitar uh, on the last show that I did, I was probably pumped with adrenaline because it was the first show. And I had this solo section where I just kind of like do a solo bit for about, I don't know, three minutes. Yeah, and I think I got too wild, and I broke my E string in the middle of it, you know, towards the tail end of it. Thank God, it was towards the tail end of it. And uh, I just thought I didn't want to um, take chances and decided to have some sort of a, of, a, of, a, of a set of saddles that I'm used to that I don't break strings often. So I settled on this because my godson Wayne recommended this, the raw vintage. Now whether it, it, it holds true or not remains to be seen because I'm going on tour. I mean, I'm going for the next show tomorrow. Right, but for what I'm hearing right now, I don't know. In my ears, I don't hear any uh, tonal difference. Well, he swears that there's a whole lot of difference. But even getting deaf, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it 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 it, it just remains to be seen, right? But uh, with the stock block uh, saddle, it's fine. It's cool, right? Um, yeah. Apart from that, the uh, the form factor. I guess this is a 25 inch uh, scale length, easy on the hands. So playing this on a standard uh, time uh, for three hours or two hours is no problem. You know, I don't get tired out. And mind you, I'm stringing this with zero tens. This is not zero nines, and it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I I I I am all are uh, um, fired up. You know. Uh, with this guitar because when I tried this on the rehearsals uh, last week, you know, I, I kind of knew, okay, this is it. This this guitar is it. You know, it, it sounded great during rehearsal. It played easily, you know. I, I didn't have to fight with it. It just kind of like listened to my every whim and fancy. <laughs> And on the show day itself, it was it was great. You know, it sounded great. Um, any mistakes that I made is not because of the guitar; it's probably because of me. I'm getting old, right? And uh, <laughs> and it's great. I enjoyed myself in the show, and and uh, I had a great time with this guitar. And it's not heavy. You know, this is like really um, easy to handle. You know, I'm gonna put the I think I put the weight with the price here, so you you can check it out. Okay, so um, if you're interested in this guitar, you can quote John is too loud for a limited period of time, probably about I mean, from now to three months, and you will get a really good discount. Now the going price is about thousand three US, so with the quotation of John is too loud, you'll get additional discount. So if you're interested in this guitar, um, head on down to the description. You know, you get all the details from the website as well as the email to Shi Guitar. They will answer your email, 
And uh, like I said about, you know, there are a couple of colors you can choose from. So you can, if you don't want this color, there are other colors available. Yeah, all you need to do is communication. Uh, communicate with uh, Ray and, and it'll be fine. So everything that is stated in the description is provided when you order this guitar, except for this uh, saddles, all right? And the strap lock. So these are all my own fittings and of course the additional spring, all right? So if you like this guitar or if you have any other opinions, let me know in the uh, comment section. I want to hear from you. And I want to thank again Ray for uh, lovingly um, creating this guitar for me for my for my road uh, for my road trips you know for my, for my tour and uh, it already suffered uh, a couple of scratches over here I maybe mean, you can see them you know my heart like ache for a while but then again this is a this is a traveling guitar this is a, a concert going guitar so um, it, it doesn't matter it, it doesn't affect my playing at all it's just like you know static but uh, I don't know he asked me to uh, pass it back to him so he can just fix this up real fast and you know, because I'm so near to Kuala Lumpur where he's based, so it's easy. Yeah, again, let me know what you think about this guitar and leave your comments in the message down below. Now, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Press the bell for notification of future videos to follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel, why don't you? And um, again, I'll be traveling tomorrow, so a couple of days. I'll be back on the 30th and uh, yeah. I'm going to give you more new contents to, to come, right? new contents, new guitars. So uh, I'll see you when I see you. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Sayonara!